Hello, Norman. Pretty night, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, Sheriff. Isn't it just? So, uh, what can I help you with tonight? I imagine you're not looking for a room. I was wondering if you keep a guest registry. The old-fashioned kind where people sign their names. Uh, yes, yes, we, we do, actually. Um, why? I wondered if I might have a look at it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, I was just closing up, but come on in. So who are you looking for? Still wondering why Jim Blackwell had this address. I wondered if he checked in under a false name. Hmm. I know, it seems silly, right? A lot of police work is silly. Until you find what you're looking for. And then all of a sudden, it's not so silly anymore. Well, we get people in here from Canyon City all the time, so maybe he was just thinking of staying here and then just changed his mind. You know, Sheriff, if I were an ex-con, I'd write down an address I know you'd find and then take on off in the opposite direction. How did you know Blackwell lived in Canyon City? Oh, you, uh... You mentioned it the last time you were here. Did I? Yes. Yes, I remember now. You were um, uh, up there on the porch, and you said that you found a piece of paper with my address on it at his place in Canyon City. Hmm. You haven't seen an early 90s silver and black Lincoln, have you? Uh, no, <laughs> no not, not as I recall. That's what he was driving. Mm, I see. This is the plate number. In case you do see it. Thank you. I'll uh, keep my eyes peeled. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Good night. Good night. Looking forward to seeing you again, Norman. You could just stay here in Seattle. We could do it. Get married. It's not fair, Marion. You know we can't right now. I don't care about your debt. You should. 
Do you love me? Of course. Do I love you? I know you do. Good. Then marry me already. I have to be in White Pine Bay right now. There's opportunity. Then I'll come to White Pine Bay. You'd hate it. I liked it. It was sweet. That's because you were there one afternoon and we spent most of it in a motel room. Well, like I said, I liked it. Babe, it's claustrophobic. It's small and boring and everybody thinks they know who you are. You don't belong in a place like that, Marion. The thing is, Sam, I never felt like I belonged anywhere. Hey, listen. We're gonna have a big life. You just gotta give me time to make it happen. Please be patient. I have been. You don't think I have other options? Believe me, I know you have options. I see the way other guys look at you. And I think, I know I don't deserve you. I know. No, Sam. I didn't mean that. I just, I miss you. Notarize those settlement charges. Maybe no. Look. Well, lucky for you, I'm good at small talk. Come on in. You were looking for me? Yeah, there you are. My favorite notary public. Ready to go. Yes, you are. Okay, so it's on. There we go. Uh, thank you. Are you Mr. Dunn? Thank you. There yeah. we go. Okay. And now we make it official. Mm. Thank you, Marianne. Okay, I'll leave the gentleman to the rest. Oh, whoa. Aren't you going to say congratulations? Congratulations. Thank you. It's a great property, Jeff. Yeah, no. Great. Hey, hey, you want to see what $400,000 in cash feels like? It's, it's much lighter than you'd imagine. It's funny. Wow. Like a feather. Excuse me, I get bad migraines. I have to go. Oh, okay. Sorry, sweetheart. I needed you here early. I know, I'm sorry. I woke up feeling terrible. I only came in because I knew this was important to you. I hate these money transactions. I don't want the cash in the office over the weekend, and now Jeff wants me to show him the Capitol Hill property before he flies to New York, so I need you to deposit this money before the bank closes. You usually do that yourself. Yes, but Jeff is feeling a little enthusiastic, and I think it's safe to assume that this is not his only briefcase of cash. Uh, Mr. Lowry? I was wondering, with Janet leaving, I'd like to submit myself for a position. Oh, you're interested in Janet's job? Yes. I've been here for three years. I think I've shown my value. I have my notary license. Well, Mary, I, I don't mean to be harsh, but may I ask, do you have a college degree? 
No, I don't. You know, maybe you should consider pursuing that first. Take some night classes. Invest in your future. I mean, that would be great for you. Would you... Would you at least consider a raise? All right. Um, one thing I really respect in my employees is a good sense of timing. Uh, right now, I've got a very important client upstairs, and now is not an appropriate moment. Maybe we can talk about this on Monday. Maybe be on time. We'll help your case. Of course. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I am happy to deposit the money. Thank you. I'll get right back to you. Sam, it's me. There's something important I have to tell you. Call me. See your driver's license, please. Did I do something wrong, sir? I don't think I was speeding. Your coat's hanging out of the trunk, Miss Crane. They pull people over for things like that? Well, it's blocking your license plate. You must have been in a hurry. No, I, I always do dumb stuff like that. Where are you headed? Mm, San Diego. Surprising my boyfriend. It was nice of you to let me know about my call, but really, it doesn't matter. It's just an old thing. Here, pop your trunk. Excuse me? Pop your trunk. I'll fix it for you. get my messages? I'm 30 miles outside of town. What? What are you talking about? I just left you this morning. Yeah, I know, Sam, but I did something crazy. Are you okay? Yeah, I just need to see you. Should I just meet you at your apartment? Hun, this is a really bad time. I'm not sure I can't. wasn't completely honest. About what? My living situation. Look, it's embarrassing. I've got this room in this guy's house. It's cheap. Man, I'm not supposed to have guests. Well, just meet me at that motel. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, let me, let me just figure out when. Sam.
What's your name? Hello. Uh, Sorry for the wait. I didn't hear you in all this rain. No, I'm just happy someone was here. Well, welcome to the Bates Motel. Here, please, come on inside where it's nice and warm. Thank you. Of course, I'll just uh, use your name on the register here and the credit card. Can I just pay cash? Absolutely. That'd be, well, would $60 be okay? It's our special off-season stormy middle-of-the-night rate. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. Well, we all need a middle-of-the-night rate sometimes. So, where are you joining us from, Miss Samuels? L.A. Oh, Los Angeles. It's a very busy place, huh? What brings you up to White Pine Bay? Um, I'm just meeting my boyfriend. We're gonna do some camping. Well, I hope you brought a change of clothes. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I'm not much of a camper. But, you know, the things we do for love. Yes, I do indeed. And if you need any recommendations for hikes or things to see, I'll be more than happy to help you. I'm going to put you in room one. Room one? Hmm. Yes, it's closer. In case you want anything. Oh, let me get your bags. Oh, there should be everything you need in here. There's even stationery with Bates Motel printed on it in case you want to make your friends back home feel envious. I'm sorry. I Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Norman Bates. Like the sign. Oh, yes, exactly. Just like the sign. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It's 
Sorry, is there anywhere around here I could get something to eat? Well, by to eat? Gosh, at this hour? White Pine Bay is a very small town. Okay. But if you'd like, I could make you a ham sandwich. I can ask you to do that. No, honestly, it, it'd be no trouble. None at all. We like to think we can offer room service, even if we're only a motel, especially on a night like this. Well, honestly, I could eat anything right now, so whatever's easy. All righty, then. One easy sandwich coming up. <laughs> Don't you just get yourself settled and take off your wet shoes, and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. Wow, this is retro. Yes, it is. I like it. It's cozy, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting. My eyes are telling me ladies eat like birds. Good thing I'm not a bird. Oh, no. You're not a bird. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. Do you hunt or something? Oh, no. I just enjoy stuffing things. I do taxidermy on animals that have already died. It's a lot of roadkill, really. I just feel like it's a way to honor them. and They are very beautiful. And it's an inexpensive hobby, too. You know, cheap, really. Needles, threads, sawdust, a few chemicals, all hardly cost anything much. Fills up the time. That's a big house you got up there. You have a family or a wife or anything? No. No, no wife. But I do have a mother. You live with your mother? Yes, it's, uh, I know, some people might consider it odd. And I'll admit it. it, has its ups and downs. Lately, more downs than ups, I'm afraid. Parents can be a bitch. You have no idea. <laughs> I have more of an idea than you know. You're lucky you even have a mother. My mom died when I was five. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She got sick and she just died. My dad didn't want me, so he sent me to live with my aunt and mammy. It was more food, but not much else. When I was 15, I got a bus to Seattle, and I've been on my own ever since. Oh, that's quite the story. And how did you end up in Los Angeles? Like a book. We've all got a lot of chapters. Mm, yes, no. Yeah, we do. It's hard to be lonely. But it's also hard to love people, and I think that that's the trap. Trap? Yes, yeah, the little private trap that everyone lives in. And we need people, but that need can destroy us. Once you care about someone, it rules you. 
And who even knows at the end of the day if that person is really who you think they are, or if they're even real at all. I'm so, so sorry. I got to take this. But thank you for the sandwich. My pleasure. Sam? When are you going to be here? Babe, I'm so sorry. I'm still stuck with this client. What client? Oh, God, you don't know him. He's a real nightmare. He keeps amending his offer, going back and forth, back and forth. It's been going on all night. Sam, it doesn't matter. Forget your client. You need to be here. Room one. I'm doing my best. It's just not possible right now. Seriously? What's going on? I'm stuck here in this shitty motel waiting for you. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I, I, I get that it's a surprise me showing up, but I promise you, this is going to make you very, very happy. I know that. There's nothing better ever than seeing you. Whatever you're doing over there isn't more important than this. <sighs> Sam? Sam? Who's that? You can't hide from this. Come out. Sam? No, nothing. That, that was nothing. It's not nothing. Who is that? Are you kidding me? Are you actually on the phone? Come on! What's wrong? I can't believe you. What are you talking about? I was just taking a piss. Do you think I'm stupid? No. Do you? No. <laughs> Madeline. Madeline, please. Hey, it's Sam Loomis. Leave me a message. I'll get right back to you. You better get right back to me. Sam, what is this shit? Call me right now. I'm with you, Norman. Don't forget that. This is why you need me.
shit. Hello? Norman? Are you still here? Oh. Hello. Um, I know this is a weird request, but can I please take a look at your registry? Why? I've been here before. No, I, I don't think so. I would have remembered checking you in. Well, you didn't check me in. You... I was here with a man. Sam Loomis. Sam Loomis? Yes, he's my boyfriend. I see. Well, he was supposed to meet me, and I'm just getting a little worried because he wouldn't ask for his cell phone, and I want to go check on him to make sure he's okay, but I don't know his actual address. So I was wondering if you could give it to me from the registry. It's not in the registry. So I, I think maybe you should just go and try calling him again. Look, I can give you his address. You can? I know his wife. He doesn't have a wife. Look, I'm sorry. I I really am. His, his wife is a nice woman, and, and you seem like a nice woman, too. He's just taking advantage of you both being good people. This can't be true. I'm, I'm not stupid. No, I, I don't think that you are. I, I think that you're human, and you just wanted to see in him what you needed to see in him. Like, I was um, just at the... Loomis house the other night. This is the address. Go see for yourself. I know you're wrong.
You okay? <sighs> Sorry about the lamp. I'll pay for it. Don't worry about the lamp. It's just a stupid lamp. So you went to his house? You were right. I'm an idiot. Is there any way I could help you with anything? Don't be nice to me right now. You just won't make me cry all over again. I'll never stop. I was going to bring you the key, because I'm checking out. You're going home? I can't go home. <laughs> I did something before I left, something I can't undo now. I see. All my life, I played by the rules. Been a good person. Where's it gotten me? I know how you feel. At least you told me the truth. It's just such a shock. It's like... A beautiful, kind man. I thought he was just died tonight. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm sorry. It makes me hate myself, but part of me doesn't even want to leave. Because I think you'll come looking for me. Explain it all. Tell me you left her. You don't want to be that person? Yeah, I, I think you should go. OK? You, you need to go right now. I, I, I saw the money. OK, what, whatever you did to get it, you just you just take it and you and you get away. OK? You, you just forget this place, forget Sam, and just start over. All right? Start over and, and start a new life for yourself. Here. That's exactly what I was going to do, but it's just so scary. Yeah, well, you know what's scarier? Being trapped inside yourself. And, private trap, never getting what you want. You can get rid of your car and phone, things they can use to follow you. you get a new car in, in Otter Creek, all right? Uh, just pay for everything in cash. Here are your clothes. I don't want to. Just throw them out. I... OK, well, just please, please go. you can, okay? Leave me a message.
message. Hey, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't even begin to explain the hell I've been living in. Lying to you. I, I wanted to tell you from the first day I met you. Please, Marion. I will be here. I will wait here for you in this shitty motel room. I'm so, so sorry. Please come back. I will be here waiting for you. Do you remember when you were little? Your dad would get so scary. And you and I would hide. Stop talking like you're her. We both know you're not. Okay, you are a big boy now? Let's talk on an even level, okay? One adult to another. Your mother suffered. You kept me from feeling things, didn't you? Feeling bad things? Yes. That's why you created me. When you were little and you were so scared and your dad got violent and your mom was so scared over and over and you were so afraid that you sent me out to handle things for you. Things that you couldn't stand to feel because they were so painful and so scary and you were so little. So you've always been there with me to keep me safe. Yes. We are two parts of the same person. Both are very real. But there's one thing you don't know. The pain that I keep you from feeling, you need to feel it. Like Adam wanting all the knowledge and eating the apple in the Garden of Eden. You get the truth, but you also see the pain. We are partners now, Norman. You have no choice. We are on even footing. Your father was a bad and scary man. You wanted to protect her from him, but you couldn't. I didn't want to. Mother had killed me that I was so small, but there was nothing I could do. But you thought about it. You thought when I'm big enough, I'll kill her. I did. I wanted to save her. I did. She was so sweet. She didn't deserve it. But you couldn't save her. All you could do was watch. Watch her get abused. I don't want to feel this. You wanted to know the truth? Well, I don't want to know you it anymore. You wanted to understand who I am? Uh, never mind. I'm sorry. It's too late, Norman. It is here. <sighs> There's one thing that stops you from feeling it. It's what I've always done for you. It's what you wanted to do to your father. It's what you wanted to do to that asshole inside that room. He's bad, Norman, like your father was. He is hurting innocent women like your mother, using them like trash. You're not too little now.
Oh, my God.